afternoon to you one and all. This is Little Daffodil coming to you once again from Sky Factory 4, where I've been a little bit busy. Now, I've been busy making platforms and growing trees and harvesting resources. Not so much advancing as kind of getting all the stuff together to advance. So, yeah, I have, I have this platform, which I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I have it. <laughs> I have this platform over here now. I'm going to put the Tinkers is in this this game, this pack, so Tinkers will go up here. I've moved the cauldrons up here, so I have some bubbling water and some bubbling lava. And then I have moved the infinite water over here, and the drying racks are here, and this, this is kind of, I don't know what that's going to be either. I just was building platforms as something to do while trees grew, because I then started filling chests up with all the various trees that we had as of the end of the last episode. Uh, now, I did make some wooden shears off camera and have been getting leaves because we're going to need those for something. But other than that, I really I didn't do anything new. I just built the platforms. That one over there is going to be for animals. So I started putting dirt there. Dirt takes a while to make. You know, those dirt trees, you get all the stuff from them and make dirt. But I, <laughs> I kept running out of acorns. Um, and I am living on cooked acorns, by the way, at this point. They're slightly better than uncooked, but we'll have to get a better food source uh, when possible. All right, at the end of the last episode, I was like, I was headed in the direction of being able to make this beauty right here. It is, it took one of the buckets and not the other one. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, the cobblestone generator is not part of this pathway, but I want it. And I knew it existed, so I made it because, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm grinding out cobble is, is getting a little annoying. It's really easy to get wood in this game, but that's about it so far, <laughs> you know. So, um, yeah. So I made this. <laughs> and let me grab, do I have a chest anywhere? An extra chest? I don't know. I don't know, so I'm just going to make one. Because I think, for now... I just want this to make cobble and then I'll figure out what else I want to do with it later. So for now, I'm just going to put it down here. If I remember correctly, if I put a chest on it, yep, the cobble will go in there. Very nice. We'll leave some wood over here for general principles. So, step one of the day, cobblestone generator made and working. Very good. Step two is to make mud. Does that sound exciting? It is. It's very exciting. <laughs> All right, so to make mud, and, and we're going to need this mud because we're headed toward trying to get this side path done. So um, we're going to need mud because it's going to help us get there. It's going to help us with a lot of things. So let's just remind myself how to make it. So dirt going into this equals mud. Oh, I thought I needed... What do I need the leaves for then? I need the leaves for something. I've forgotten now, haven't I? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take this dirt here. Okay, four, five, just five pieces of that. We're going to go over to this cauldron right here, and we're going to do that. So now we have four buckets of mud or four bottles of mud. Okay. That is a useful thing. So, because we also want to get to this grass block here, which, this right here. If I take, oh, this is why I need the leaves. Leaves in here with mud equal grass block. Aha, okay. So, can I just do that, that, that? that. Aha! And now I have four. And these beauties, so for one piece of dirt, I just got four grass blocks. That is a nice exchange. I like it. I like it a lot. So, we need more water in there, though. This is where having the platform set up the way I do could get a bit problematic, but over time, 
I will improve how I use all this. So let's just do a few more. So that and that. And two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now I have eight. Ah! Beautimous. That was just way too easy for words. Now I'm assuming that the grass will still grow across the dirt that I've already put down here. I have I had not thought when I built this platform, there's one thing I didn't consider is how far away I have to be in order for passive mobs to spawn. I have no idea if that mechanic works in this game. I know it's a vanilla mechanic, but I think if I go all the way up here and I go all over here, I think I'm far enough away. So I might just try that tonight at some point once I get the dirt all filled in. Once I do that. Okay? So alright, so we have mud. We had we have grass. This is a wonderful, wonderful thing. So what we need Let's go back here. We need to try and get a cottonwood tree. So let's see. Do I have, yes, I have it here. I have it here. All right. So this means we really need to get a jungle sapling. Now the cauldrons and the trees are the whole thing, right? They're the whole thing. That's the whole way it works. We have clay saplings. We can make mud. Therefore, we can make jungle saplings. Aha. Yes. See, it all comes together. It all works together. I kind of wish, what I keep wishing for is some kind of large uh, picture matrix, a visible matrix of how the trees flow from one to the other to the other. I would really like to see that. Okay, mud. And then we need clay saplings, which we have plenty. And let me put the leaves away while we're at it. And one, two, three, four. And thus, we have jungle saplings. Now, for those of you who noticed, I have two oak saplings in here. I got those by taking, I think it was a petrified sapling. And uh, I don't have any more water in here. And just putting it in a cauldron with regular water in it. And that was great. Okay, so back to this. We need vines next. Vines are very easy once you have a jungle sapling. If I understand correctly, I just need that to dry and it will become a vine. That That's just easy, isn't it? Now the next bit, the next bit is this, the bone meal. Bone meal, gravel, in water. <laughs> so let's get some more water because we have a gravel sapling. Uh, we got gravel saplings, which means we got the ability to make gravel and we got flint in the whole bit. So here we go. And I just suddenly realized, did I have the gravel sapling at the last end of the last episode or did I do that between? I'm trying not to do anything in between, but I stumble on things occasionally and, you know, things go wrong then. Okay, that gave us a lot of bone meal, more than I expected. Okay, let's go back and see how our vine is doing. Okay, we have a vine. Okay, now I need an empty, empty spot, empty hand. Uh, there we go. We have a vine. We have a vine. All right, so now with all that, we should be able to do this. And now we have a cottonwood sapling. Woohoo! Go cottonwood! All right, we have one. And now let's grow this puppy. Let's grow. It's really neat when you have this whole area filled with trees and you're doing the twerking thing and the green sparkles are just everywhere. It's really quite neat. Okay, we will take you and we will take you. Okay. So how many saplings did we get? So they're right here. All right, let's go ahead and put these guys down. Seven, eight, nine. And we will grow them. There we go, look at all that pretty green. I do like that I can watch the trees now when I do this. I don't know, I, I didn't, I was never comfortable with the character being back to the 
plants while doing this. I don't know why. It could just be because I'm weird, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right, let's take you guys down. And now I need to fix you, which is over here. I need better tools. That's one of the reasons I wanted the gravel so badly. I want to make stone tools, but I'm so close to getting to uh, the ironwood tree anyway. The iron version of this tree that I'm hoping that means I can get iron tools soon. And then diamond after that, at least based on what uh, I'm looking at on the, the guidebook. I don't want to say quest book because I don't really think of it that way, but guidebook. See, we've got charcoal, or coal, then we have iron, which gets us iron, which will allow me to actually claim this properly, then gold, then diamonds. I'm just like, ooh, this actually moves along pretty quickly once you get there. All right, so now we have string, supposedly. We cut into something. We have four pieces of string. Well, that's not much. Uh, let's see what we can do. What have I got? Oh, that, we, yes, that's another thing we need to do that I left set up. Okay, so we want to make uh, what is it? Wool? Wool. Okay, so it takes four pieces of string to make wool. Oh, that's interesting. I like looking around up here because I'm finding all kinds of neat stuff up here that I have no idea really what it means. Some of it's helpful, some of it's not. But, okay. But it looks like, as far as craft this we're gonna to need to get string from the trees so we need at least eight more pieces of that well that's no problem we got plenty of trees we can grow let's see what are those those are more cottonwood saplings let's go ahead and put some more down let's go around the other side though because we're gonna to need to repair our tools as well uh, let's see fix you and we'll fix you Every now and then, this this over here, all the contents, like, image, oh, disappears. It might be when a tree grows, now that I think of it, though. That could be an important connection. Okay, there we go. Did I get any string out of that? I got one piece of string. That's a little bit of a bummer. Let me, let me do something here. Let me see what the use is. That makes cottonwood amber. That makes paper. What are the uses for cottonwood amber? Uh, if you squeeze it, if you squeeze it, you can get white wool. Hang on. In any kind of squeezer? Okay, let's try something. Uh, this probably isn't going to work, but we're going to try it anyway. Um, let's try the cotton wood amber. Let's just make one of those. This is a crushing tub, not a squeezer, so this might not work. No, nothing seems to be happening. Oh, wait. Maybe? I thought I saw something. But no, I don't know that that's working. Can I make a squeezer? Eat one of those. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a little bit after that. All, all that uh, mining up of the trees. Squeezer. Okay, we do have this squeezer. It takes an iron ingots. A block of iron even. A mechanical squeezer is even worse. Huh. Alright, well that, that, that would have been nice. It would have been a good way to make some wool. But nope. Nope. The game says nope. Nope to you these back where I can get at them. Put those up there, put those up there. Let's fix our tools again real quick. That is what I seem to spend a lot of time doing. Okay. Let's harvest you guys. Come on, give me string. 
Mama needs a new bed. Okay. Let me just do this and save the axe here. Do it this way. We will do it this way. Because I'm assuming that the string is coming from... Oh, wait. We have, we're, we're one short. One. One. One short. Oh, isn't that just the way? Come on, guys. Grow. Grow for mama. Give me some string. Okay, there we go. Come on. You, you want to be nice and give me one piece of string, right? I mean, look at me. I'm pitiful. I'm, I'm just pitiful compared to you, you majestic tree. Nope. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, let's try again. Let's get some more. Come on. Wait, wait. I think I saw a piece of string. Hang on. <gasps> yes. Okay, so we have that. Then we need that. And then that, that, and we do a traditional bed. There we go. We have a bed. We have a bed. Let's go put the bed under the under the roofage, away from where it rains. We'll put you right there. And that is our bed. Oh yay! There we go. Nice. Okay. So uh, that was really my goal for this episode was to get the bed and make the mud but get the bed. So we have finished this little side quest here. I'm going to go off and try and look into this one or decide if I'm going to go that way. And that'll be for the next episode. So hmm, thank you as always for joining me, folks. This is Little Daffodil, and I'll see you in the next one.